Hey guys, I'm about to have a surprise, but first, I'm going to be very sorry about I erased the videos, uh, lots of videos, but uh, can you forgive me for once? So, it was just a mistake though. I tried, there was a non-sounding video and I tried to erase that, but I instead erased the other videos. So that's the problem. And I'm not going to read any of those books again. I'm very sorry, you can see another channel. You can see from another channel and then you can come back to my channel if you want. And today's big surprise is... Ta-da! We're, we're here again to read Imagine Oxford Read and Imagine the game. Um, I know you can listen with Mama Pam, but I wanted you to get here my series. So, yeah. But if you listen in Mama Pan, it's very slow and it's also um in no, 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 I don't want to say that. So anyway, let's get started. The game. Chapter 1. Where are you going, Ben? asked Rosie. To Grandpa's office, said Ben. He's working on a new computer game and he wants me to try it. A computer game by Grandpa? asked Rosie. Really? She jumped up. I have to see this. But when they went to the office, Grandpa and Clunk weren't there. Let's come again later, said, said Rosie. But Ben loves computer games. He wanted to have a quick look at Grandpa's new game. The door was open a little and he pushed it open more. Ben went inside the office for a better look. Let's go, said Rosie. But then she saw something on a chair next to the computer. A big helmet. What's that? she asked. A note. The notebook on Grandpa's desk was open and Rosie started to read it. It says, Ben, I'm going to loaf. Ben's, this, oh, it says, Ben's going to love playing computer games with this new helmet. Fantastic, said Ben. I want to try it now. Let's wait and ask Grandpa when he's home, said Rosie. Ben couldn't wait. He sat on the chair and put on the helmet on his head. What are you doing, Ben? asked Rosie. But Ben couldn't hear or see his sister now. Chapter 2. Ben saw tall buildings of a city. Those buildings were on my computer screen, said Ben. I am in the game. Wow. He looked at his hand and moved his fingers. Then he looked up at the blue sky. He could feel the wind on his face. He could smell the grass under his feet. Maybe it's a park. Rosie was scared when... when Ben didn't answer her. Then she saw a boy on the computer screen. He had glasses and he was wearing Ben's sweater. That's Ben, said Rosie. I can see him in the game. On the screen, Ben walked across the rope, but in the chair, he didn't move. Rosie looked at Grandpa's notebook again. Players can use the helmet to see, hear, and feel in the game. They can move their bodies in the game just by thinking. Just then, then under this, Grandpa's note said, The game of the name is Angry Robot. Rosie looked up. Angry Robot? She said. Oh, dear. Ben was very happy. He wanted to go everywhere and see all the games in the game. But suddenly, he heard a new, very loud sound. It was the sound of a foot on the road. The big metal What's that? said Ben. Chapter 3. Ben looked up and saw a big metal face above him. It was an angry robot. It was as tall as the tallest building in the game. It looked at Ben with his yellow eye. Suddenly, 
the robber started to shoot red lights from his eyes. The red, the lights hit Ben's arm. Ouch! Shouted Ben. That hurt. He shouted to run. He didn't look, but he could hear the robots behind him. With his long legs, it could go faster than Ben. This isn't fun," said Ben. "I want to leave this game, but how?" Rosie watched Ben and the angry robot on the screen. "I have to stop the game," she said. She tried to take the helmet off Ben, but the but it wouldn't. But it didn't move. When she tried to turn off the computer. She saw this word on the screen. You cannot turn off the games before it finishes. Ro- Rosie took out her cell phone. When Grandpa answered, she said, "Grandpa, please, can you help? Ben's using your new helmet. He is in the computer game and and he can't leave. Oh dear!" said Grandpa. The helmet isn't right. I'm at the store to buy parts for it now. Chapter Four. Ben needs to leave the game now," said Rosie. "The game can't really hurt him, but it isn't nice for Ben," said Grandpa. He was thinking a player can't leave the game before it finishes, but he can leave if he wins. But Ben doesn't know this game," said Rosie. "How can he win? There is a helmet for you too, Rosie," said Grandpa. "It's under the desk." Rosie found the smaller helmet. I have it," she said. "But how can I help Ben? Listen to me," said Grandpa. A minute later, Rosie put the phone down. She was scared, but Ben needed help. One, two, three. She put the helmet on her head. Then, you're here too, Rosie," said Ben when when he saw his sister in the game. Be careful," said Ben. "The robot's coming." "I know," said Rosie. "We can't leave the game before we win it. How can we do that?" asked Ben. Rosie pointed to the tallest building. "There, there's a big button in front of that building. If you jump and hit it, it stops the robot." "So let me see. What's the tallest building? This one, maybe. I think it's this one. But that it's kind of." Taller, but it's kind of far away. So, chapter five. Come on, said Rosie, and she started to run. Ben ran with her. Don't look behind you, he said. They ran very, they ran fast, and soon they could see the green building, green button in front of the building. But the sound of the robot was louder and louder. It was, it was very close now. We're too late," said Ben. "No," said Rosie. "You jump and hit the button, Ben." She ran in front of the robot and shouted, "I'm here!" The robot looked at Rosie. Rosie waited for it to shoot the red light from its eye. The red light didn't come. Rosie looked at Ben. He was under the big green button with a big smile on his face. "We won," he said. Suddenly, Ben and Rosie couldn't see the city or the robot. They were in Grandpa's office again. They took the helmets off their heads. The door opened and Grandpa ran in. "Are you okay, children?" he asked. "We're fine, thanks," Grandpa said. Rosie Clunk was at the door too. "Can I help?" he asked. "No thanks, Clunk," said Ben. He turned off the computer game and smiled. "But I'm very happy to see a nice." Small robot. The end. So let me do this quizzes together. So write these words. It's a computer, and this is a office, and this is a computer screen. This is a computer game. I am going to do until this number one activity for today, and then let's come up with the flower thief later. Okay, so have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.